What's up everybody? My name is Jason and welcome to EIDL Payment Deferral and Loan Forgiveness. It is Monday, March the 14th, 2022. Please do me a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up, hashtag EIDL with your comments below. And don't forget, you can now find me over at trysmallbiz.com. That's trysmallbiz.com. So whether you have a small business or a side hustle, make sure that you get registered today. And speaking of register, the video that I did on Thursday was seen more than 4,300 times. And we had, thank you very much, slightly more than 100 of you sign up to register. You can do so in your name if you just have a side hustle or if you actually have a real business, a company, an S Corp, an LLC, sign up as that. I am not going to focus on the 98% that didn't have a few minutes time to sign up, I instead want to focus on the small number and anyone who's done social media for any length of time knows it's one, two, maybe 3% that are actually involved in the mission that we're trying to accomplish. And what is that? Grow your small business. And as 70% of you have said in the last several polls that we've done, you want the idle loan forgiven, but you got to crawl, walk, and then run. So shout out to our man, Speak and See, who led the charge. By the way, this is my kitchen. I'm standing on the edge of my living room. That's my kitchen. I have a three-story townhouse that I built here in the suburbs of Atlanta. What was it? In 2017. And I got tired of sitting behind the desk downstairs. So I said, you know what? I'm going upstairs. And one day, maybe even soon, I'm going to whip something up. I'm Irish Italian. So if you like meat and potatoes, pasta, how about lasagna? Anybody like lasagna? Oh my God, mine's absolutely to die for, but back on track. Speak and see. Led a charge to get Chuck Schumer and 13 other Democrats. They didn't want the Republicans on the letter for obvious reasons, but there is bipartisan support to get the idle loan payments deferred. Many of you learned by way of Ryder over at Skip, if you log on to pay Dot gov, you're already seeing at least six months extension until the fall of this year. But this is why I think it's going to go beyond that. And we haven't heard anything officially from Miss Guzman yet. She does not, in my opinion, want to have payments start coming due in September and October of this year. Who wants to go to the polls annoyed at the Democrats that control every branch of government having to pay back the loan that we are trying like hell to get forgiven? So I personally believe, and we owe a debt of gratitude big time to speak and see, I believe they're going to push it out into March or April of next year. That way they're not in the middle of the election. They give everybody plenty of time to play games around politics and who's getting credit for what and then and so forth. But here is why I think it's... This is an absolute home run for us. You got to crawl, walk, run, right? Right. There's no way they were going to forgive the idle loans outright in 2022. They had too much ammunition with the deferral. Defer the payments. Use the argument that Schumer did in his letter that I'll pin in a top comment that small business owners need more time to recover. They failed to deliver 177,000 restaurants, did not get the RRF, were still fighting on their behalf. They know damn well that millions of middle-income families did not get the $10,000 idle grant that they were promised in the CARES Act. So, typical Washington, D.C. fashion, throw us a bone. Extend the payments out six, or I, what I think will end up being 12 months beyond the election, so that, and follow me on this, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Schumer and the Democrats, which are probably going to lose the House and quite possibly the Senate in November, have ammunition to come back in 2023, as he's been doing now nonstop for almost a year. Schumer is the champion of student loan forgiveness, and I believe he's going to adopt the mantle of EIDL loan forgiveness. He is most likely, ladies and gentlemen, and this is not a political statement, believe me when I tell you this, I've taken swings at both sides. It's highly probable they're gonna lose the House and possibly the Senate. If Schumer has to hand the ball back over to Mr. Darth Vader, Mitch McConnell, the man with no soul, the man who couldn't even fucking pronounce E-I-D-L, let alone uh, uh, pronounce, uh, spell it, right? When's the last time you heard Mitch McConnell say anything in support of small business? His soul, it's like tumbleweed through the desert.
There's nothing there. He doesn't care about you, me, his state of Kentucky. The man has no soul. Proof that I have taken swings at everybody, including Donald Trump, who appointed Javita Carranza, who capped the loans and rationed the grants. Bottom line, they're all full of shit. But Chuck Schumer is a salesman. In my opinion, he's the best salesman in the Senate. You'll notice, as opposed to Jackie Rosen, who hasn't said anything about her own bill she reintroduced for a second time, the EIDL Small Business Act, known as S-513. When her and John Cornyn reintroduced that a year ago, not one single word since. Let's say it's the Republicans that were stonewalling them. Rand Paul, Ron Johnson, two Republican senators that don't give a flying fuck about small business. They do not want to spend any more money than Jackie. Why not come out and come in front of the cameras? And say, hey, if it was up to me, I'd give millions of middle-income families the 10 grand we were promised in the CARES Act. After all, that's what S513 is all about. But she didn't say anything. She totally abandoned small business. So as far as I'm concerned, her and John, John Cornyn, Republican in Texas, have done nothing, nothing, even though she is on the letter along with one of my senators, Raphael Warnock. I do appreciate that. She said nothing about S153. On the other hand, Chuck Schumer, one of the greatest salesmen of all time, every other day. Today would be a great day for President Biden to forgive student debt. Well, guess what I think he's going to start doing once the payments are getting close to due next year, when his all-time nemesis comes back to the White House, or at least tries to? If Schumer loses control in the Senate, he must get the voting blocks of 18 to 35 with student loan forgiveness and 35 to 55, which is what the small business owner, AKA EIDL loan forgiveness. One of the best things, and I'm not wishing this on Schumer. I like the guy, believe it or not. I think he's a pretty good soul. If the polls hold true to course and the Republicans take over both the House and the Senate in November, Schumer is gonna need millions of votes to cut off Donald Trump to becoming the 47th president of the United States. And Chuck, you're gonna hear this from me and speak and see and hopefully thousands of people that go to trysmallbiz.com to make their voices known by signing up today that you need not only the students on your side and that's millions of votes between 18 and 35, but Chuck, there's 5 million people that got an EIDL loan in the last 24 months. And loan deferral, while we are appreciative of that, it's not enough. We want the damn loan forgiven so that we never pay the SBA a dime, don't forget. Big Ben Cardin, I'll leave the F word out this time. He is the chairman of the Senate Committee for Small Business. December the 7th, 2020, he was the first to say that if I had my way, they would treat the EIDL loan program just like PPP so that you never pay the SBA a dime. That is the number one in control. And he, along with the one and only Chuck Schumer, a relentless salesman, in my opinion, will start saying, mm, February or March of next year, when the payments actually start becoming due, at least for most of you, you know, today would be a good day for President Biden to forgive student debt and in a following tweet, or maybe even the same one, Chuck, we're talking about probably 10 million votes up for grabs. Be a great day for President Biden to forgive EIDL debt so that you never pay the SBA a friggin' dime. So ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from my kitchen in the northern suburbs of Atlanta, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, make sure to sign up at trysmallbiz.com and never forget, we love you and thank you so much for watching.